the context SWR config can provide a global configuration for all SWR hooks. So if you want to configure the SWR hook, then you can just pass here comma and import the SWR config component. And you can use this component in your JSX. So let's suppose that if I use this component right here, just down here, just for the example. If I use here SWR config, something like this, then this is a valid SWR configuration. Inside this, we can pass options to this SWR hook. We can pass here value and to this value, we pass different options. And inside this option, you can pass a feature function or you can pass the refresh on interval properties. So we can refresh the API data after a specific interval and so on. Let's suppose that I want to refresh the data after every three seconds. Then I can just simply pass here an object, something like this. And then I'm going to call here refresh interval colon 3000. So this means after every three seconds, the refresh interval is going to refresh the API request. Just out of that, we can also pass here a feature function. So we can pass here a property called feature like this. And then we can pass here a function like this. And to this function, we get two properties. First is resources. So we pass here resource and second is init. So when you call this feature function, you call the fetch function as you know, the JavaScript fetch function. And then you call here resource, the URL, and then you call the init as a second argument. And then you call here, then response is equal to response.json, something like this. So inside this SWR configuration, you can call your feature function as well. Now, let me show you a very simple example of this SWR config. So I'm going to edit this user component and I'm going to show you how you can use this SWR config and fetch the data using static site generation. You can use fallback option of SWR config to pass the prefetch data as the initial value of all SWR hook. Let me just use a simple feature function here, something like this, one line feature function. And then inside this get static props right here, as you can see, we are fetching this data from this API endpoint users. I'm going to just get this data inside these users and then call a property call fallback. Now, SWR hook is only going to use this property only when the data is updated. Otherwise, it uses the cache data. So we call here fallback and inside this, we pass the endpoint, which is API users. And then we pass here users, something like this, this one, this data. So SWR is only going to call this fallback when the data of the UI changes. Otherwise, it will use the cache data. Just out of that, when I scroll up, right inside this user component, we need to add the SWR config. So what I have to do is I have to create here instead of this get data, let me just get rid of this. And here I'm going to call this component data. So right here, I'm going to copy all this code and paste that right inside this get data. And as you know, we don't have the user feature function. So here I'm going to simply call use SWR. And then in the single code, we pass here HTTP localhost 3000 API users. And then as a second argument, we pass the feature function. So let me just get it off these destructure properties. And here I'm going to say data and error. Instead of this is error. Now we pass here error. And if we don't have data, then I'm going to print is loading message. And just for that here, instead of this user, I'm going to say data. That's easy, right? Now, just out of that, once I paste all the data inside this get data function, right inside the main component, right here, instead of these users, as you can see, inside this get data, I don't need user because we are getting this user from this use SWR. And at the top, right up here, I'm going to get rid of this user. And here I'm going to return JSX. And inside that, I'm going to say S wr config i'm going to call this component and pass here value and inside this value we pass fallback and just out of that i'm going to pass this fallback as a parameter and then right inside this swr config i'm going to pass my get data function this one 
So I can simply call here an object and here I'm going to pass get data and pass parenthesis like this. Let me save the changes. Now, when I open the post user, I'm going to get my response. Now, let me tell you a very interesting thing. As you all know, get static props is going to generate the static HTML. It's not going to use for frequently updated data. Whenever there is a change in the data of API request, the get static props will automatically execute and update the data. So with the help of SWR, you can easily do that. The benefit of using get static props with SWR is the page is still pre-rendered. It's SEO friendly, fast to response, but also fully powered by SWR on the client side. The data can be dynamic and self-updated over time. So you don't have to worry about anything. That's the power of SWR.